Hello and welcome. Donald Trump isn't the divorcee elected president, but he could be the first president to get divorced while in office. The reports that he and Melania have unique sleeping arrangements and are increasingly distant have sparked rumours the two could separate. If they prove true, then it appears just a matter of time until the couple calls it quits. Number one. He allegedly cheated on Melania with porn star Stormy Daniels. Stephanie Clifford, who performs under the pseudonym Stormy Daniels, allegedly had an affair with Donald Trump in 2006, a year after he wed Melania. Daniels attempted to sell the story to multiple publications in 2016 during Donald's run for president. Trump's lawyer, Michael D. Cohen, paid Daniels $130,000 through a non-disclosure agreement in October 2016, just one month before Trump was elected. In January, the Wall Street Journal broke the news of the Stormy Daniels standgall, calling it hushed money and starting a media frenzy that largely considers Donald guilty. Number two, Daniels is suing President Trump. Stormy Daniels filed a 28-page lawsuit against Donald Trump in Los Angeles Superior Court on March the 6th. She claims that even though she received the $130,000 from Cohen in exchange for her silence, Trump never signed the agreement, rendering it invalid. Daniels is asking the LA court to declare that both the hush agreement and the side agreement were never formed and therefore do not exist because, among other things, Mr. Trump never signed the agreements. If the court rules in Daniel's favour, then we'll hear her side of the story very soon, as will Melania. Number three. She isn't the only woman with a hush agreement. Karen McDougal may prove problematic for the president's marriage as well. The former Playboy Playmate is scheduled to speak with Anderson Cooper in an interview on CNN on March the 22nd to discuss her alleged 10-month affair with Trump in 2006 to 2007. McDougal signed a legal agreement in 2016, the same year as Daniels, which gave her $150,000 from American Media Inc., the parent company of the National Enquirer, in exchange for her story that they never intended to print. Peter Streis, McDougal's attorney, addressed claims that his client was only doing the interview for publicity. She's going to do this interview, she's going to tell her truth, and then you're not going to see her again, he said during a CBS This Morning appearance. Number four, Donald's been divorced twice before. Only one president prior to Trump went through a divorce before taking office, Ronald Reagan. Reagan, who like Trump, starred on TV in, before entering politics, split with from his wife, Jane Wyman before he ran. He remarried to Nancy Reagan, who acted as the first lady for his two-term presidency. Trump married and fathered three kids with his first wife, Ivana Zelenikova. He has a history of cheating and had an affair with his future second wife, Marla Maples, while still married to Ivana. Donald and Melania don't appear to be on the same side of cyberbullying. Laura Bush had education and women's health Michelle Obama had childhood obesity, and Melania Trump was cyberbullying. It's common for first ladies to fight for a cause they're passionate about using the floaters platform. However, it's uncommon that their husband, the president, is accused of the very thing they're trying to combat. Melania had a, held a roundtable discussion on cyber safety on March the 20th with key leaders in the digital market, including Twitter, Facebook, and Google. At the meeting, she reportedly addressed her husband's unconventional use of twi the Twitter platform. Melania told the tech leaders, it will not stop me from doing what I know is right before publishing the statement to her Instagram account. Number six, Melania chose to live in New York for most of the year. Donald was sworn in as the 45th President of the United States on January 22, 2017. Melania and their son Barron didn't join him in the White House until mid-June that year. Melania, whose main priority is Barron, wanted her son to finish his school year at his home in New York before uprooting him to a new school and home in DC. Number seven, she is fiercely protective of Barron. One of Melania's largest concerns, according to reports, is Barron's privacy. She has guarded her son against the media at all costs, and family and friends say she becomes uneasy when articles centre around her son. Melania has made it extremely clear that her first priority will always be her son, leaving us to speculate what she'll do to protect him amidst the Stormy Daniels scandal. I am a full-time mum. That is my first job, she told Parenting.com. That is the most important job ever. Eight.
Melania didn't want Donald to win the White House. For rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, as a real estate mogul or as President of the United States, these aren't the vows Melania and Donald made to each other. But maybe they should have been. While Donald toyed with the idea of running in 2011, he chose to remain in the private sector rather than engage in the 2012 election. Four years later, after allegedly consulting with his family, the time was upon them. According to Trump insiders, Melania never wanted this and never had any interest. A former aide recalled a conversation with Melania during which she expressed how she was afraid if Donald ran, he would win. Number nine. They signed their prenup in 2005. So it's unlikely it has any conditions about divorcing if he becomes president, and there's little doubt she'll get custody over Barron if the two split. The two high-profile attorneys answered questions about how their prenup may have changed once Donald was elected president. It's very hard to overturn a prenup in New York. The only thing that she could possibly try to argue is that when she entered into the agreement, she didn't anticipate he would be a president. Peter Stamblick, partner, Aronsi Mayevsky and Sloan told Town & Country. Therefore, in terms of any spousal support waiver, it would not be fair and reasonable for her to waive spousal support at this time because there are now more anticipated expenses that she will incur being the first lady, especially if she divorces him when he is in office. Number 10. At least 16 women have accused Trump of sexual misconduct so far. As of February 2018, 16 women accused the president of sexual misconduct. The women tell similar stories about Donald groping, kissing and making suggestive and unwarranted comments toward them. A number of the women who publicly accused Donald were Miss Universe contestants. A 2013 contestant, Cassandra Cerulees, shared a since-deleted Facebook post about how Donald treated us like cattle. According to Rolling Stone, she wrote how he probably doesn't want me telling the story about that time. He continually grabbed my ass and invited me to his hotel room. Number 11. Melania and Donald apparently ignored their wedding anniversary. January 22, 2018 marked Melania and Donald's 13th year of marriage. It also marked the 10-day anniversary of the Wall Street Journal article exposing Stormy Daniels as Donald's mistress during their first year of marriage. If it weren't for reports about how they ignored the day altogether, you wouldn't have even known. Both Melania and Donald stayed silent on social media, neglected to address their anniversary, and there's still no word if they celebrated together. Melania's spokeswoman made one announcement about the First Lady, that she wouldn't be joining Donald in Switzerland for the World Economic Forum because of scheduling and logistical issues. Number 12. They sleep in separate beds. Michael Wolff's highly debated tell-all about the Trump White House revealed a secret that, if true, definitely indicates their marriage is troubled. Donald and Melania allegedly sleep in different separate beds. According to Fire and Fury, Wolf's book, they are the only first couple to sleep separately since the days of John F. Kennedy and Jackie Onassis. When the president dubbed Wolf's book really boring and untruthful, US Weekly ran a story claiming the same thing, that Melania refuses to share a bed with Donald. A source told the magazine that the first couple have separate bedrooms. They never spend the night together, ever. Number 13. They appear more distant than ever. Melania has mostly kept to herself since the Stormy Daniels scandal broke. She entered the White House to rounds of applause on the night of Donald's State of the Union address. According to CNN, Melania broke tradition by travelling to the Capitol from the White House without her husband, choosing instead to make the trip with the special guests she and Donald invited. The reports of a payoff blindsided the First Lady, who was furious for her with her husband. Two people close to the Trumps told the New York Times. Stephanie Grisham, Melania's communications director, denied any underlying issues among the couple. She is focused on her family and role as floaters, not the unrealistic scenarios being peddled daily by the fake news, Grisham tweeted. Number 14. Vanessa filed for divorce. Some speculate Melania will follow suit. Vanessa Trump filed for divorce from her husband, the president's firstborn, Donald Trump Jr. They released a statement asking for the public's privacy. 
We will always have tremendous respect for each other and our families. We have five beautiful children together and they remain our top priority. The page six statement read. According to Newsweek, Google Trends noticed searches for Melania Trump files for divorce surged 70% after news broke about Vanessa and Donald Jr's split. Number 15. Some of the American public hopes they'll divorce. Women talk to the streets to protest Melania's marriage to Donald the moment he was elected president. The hashtags uh, sad Melania trended on Twitter. My dream is that Michelle Obama will convince her to leave him and she'll become this great feminist icon, a fashion fixture who's known the Trump clan for decades told Vanity Fair. She will walk into the middle of everything and say, he's crazy, this is nuts, I don't know what I was doing. Thank you for listening.